Well, you've got an advisor. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's, that's one of the most important things. Uh, I think that um, more and more people are taking time off between undergraduate uh, work and medical education. The average age is approaching or maybe has now passed 24. Uh, so that means that the typical first year medical student has spent probably more, like two years uh, out of school. So, you know, tell your parents, you know, yeah. a year of post-bac, right. even two years of post-bac is actually more like the median uh, mm -hmm. than, uh, than something that's, that's too long. And there's a very long right tail on that distribution. Right. Um, what, what I would say about uh, post-baccalaureate programs is that they give you the opportunity to do one of two things. They're academic record enhancing programs where if you struggled in some uh, coursework areas, you can demonstrate that you have the foundational information that's required to succeed in medical school. Or alternatively, it allows you to pursue an interest at a graduate level. So maybe you go and do a master's in public health uh, because you see that as part of your role as a physician in the future. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you want to do a, you know, you know, a, a career that, that involves you know, s significant public health work. Mm -hmm. um, in either case, that's an, that's an asset to your application, but know why you're doing it. If it's a rough undergraduate record, then an MPH doesn't, doesn't quite address your trouble in organic chemistry. Um, put the Band-Aid where the bleeding is. Mm -hmm.